how do I actually introduce a photograph into evidence? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. All right, so let's say this is a civil trial involving an accident matter or a medical malpractice matter. And now there's a photograph that I want to get into evidence. Maybe it shows the extent of your injuries. You're in the hospital. And now one of your family members has taken a photograph of you to show how horrible you look and how you are recuperating in the uh, intensive care unit, for example. Okay, during the course of trial, now I'm going to have you testify. And if it's not you, then maybe I'm going to have another witness who's familiar with what's contained in the photograph. So let's say it's a family member. And maybe it's the family member who took the photograph. It doesn't have to be. But someone who's familiar with the photo and what's contained in it. Okay, so what happens then? So let's say I have your spouse on the witness stand. And now I want to get this photograph into evidence. So what do I do? I say, okay, Mrs. Jones, I want you to go ahead and take a look at this photograph. And now I hand her the photograph. Now I say, have you ever seen this photograph before? Yes, I have. When have you seen it? Oh, I took it. I took it in the hospital. Really? When did you take it? And now she gives us a date and time. Okay, why did you take this photograph? Not that it really matters, but I ask her, why did you take this photograph? Because I wanted to document exactly the horrible injuries that my husband had. Okay, tell us what this photograph shows, Mrs. Jones. Oh, it shows my husband in the intensive care unit coming with, you know, he's got tubes coming out of every part of his body. And does it show damages? Does it show his bandages? Yes, it does. What else does it show, Mrs. Jones? Was anybody else in the room with you? Do you recognize this photograph? Is this the photograph that you took? So what am I doing? I'm establishing that the photograph is authentic. I'm establishing the uh, basis, what we call a foundation, for getting this photograph into evidence. Because remember, the jury wasn't in the hospital. They don't know who was there. They don't know who this is a picture of, assuming that the person can't be recognized. So we need somebody to go ahead and tell the jury and explain to the jury, who is this person? Why are they there? Why is there a picture being taken? Who is this picture of and what does it show? Once I get this witness to go ahead and describe exactly all this information, now I turn to the judge and say, Your Honor, at this time I offer this photograph into evidence. And you know what the judge says? He says, show it to your opponent. Okay, so now I take the photograph, I hand it to the defense attorney. And the judge turns to the defense attorney and says, any objection, counselor? And if there are no objections, then the judge will say, fine, this photograph is marked with plaintiff's number, whatever number, into evidence. If the defense attorney has an objection, now the judge will deal with that objection to see whether or not he raises a valid objection. If my witness has no real information about what's contained in the photograph and cannot authenticate it or show that it's reliable and it's uh, information that she has knowledge of, then in all likelihood the judge is going to deny my request to offer this into evidence and then I might have to bring in a different witness to go ahead and validate this particular photograph. So when the judge says, yes, this is marked as plaintiff's number, let's say number five, uh, in evidence, now the court reporter, the court stenographer, takes that photograph, puts a sticker on the back of it, and labels it plaintiff's number five in evidence. And what happens then? What happens then is that now I can take that photograph and I can say, judge, can I now show this to the jury? Lawyers sometimes say, hey, can we publish this to the jury? And the judge will say, yes, you can. Now we take the photograph and I go over and I actually hand it to the jury for, to the jury for person who then goes ahead, looks at it, and then passes it down the line to each and every jury. Jury? Each and every juror. And at the end, they pass it right back, and I take it, and now I continue on with my questioning. That's how an attorney gets a photograph into evidence in a civil case in New York. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you a sense of what really happens in these trials involving accident matters and medical malpractice matters. You know, I do realize you're watching this video because you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Odinski. Have a great day.